Hi there, whiz kids. Hope you've had a good summer. I've got another story to tell you. And today, I want to tell you from the viewpoint of a man called Simeon. Now, Simeon was a fisherman, and this is his story, the day he first met Jesus. We'd been out all night, a group of us, searching for fish. And what did we catch? Nout. Absolutely nothing. There was nothing there. I mean, we toiled all night, but nothing. Just nothing. Well, Peter, he said, oh, come on, lads, let's go back to shore. Now, we were a long way out, right in the middle of Lake Galilee. Normally, we have a really good catch, but there was absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. So we turned the boats around, we headed back for shore. As we headed back for shore, we saw this, this guy. He was standing there watching us. Ordinary guy by the looks of him. And he, he shouted out, Morning fellas, have you had a good night? Oh, <laughs> well, you can imagine Peter, he said, Had a good night? Don't be so daft, we've caught absolutely nothing. And you could see, Peter was, he wasn't happy. And his brother, James, was saying, Calm down, boy, it's only one night, it's plenty time. And this man, still on this thing, he says, I tell you what, boys, throw your net out on the other side. <laughs> well, you can imagine, now, Peter was, that was it. Throw me nets out on the other side. I feel like throwing me nets away. We've caught nothing. You know, nothing. Zero. Zip. Nothing. Now what do you expect me to do now? Throw me nets out? I'd rather throw them away. He stood there. Oh, come on, lad. We'll give it one last go, shall we? So, Simeon, I say, aye, right, I'm here. Help the lads to throw this out, will you? So, we gathered the nets again. We checked to make sure there was no holes in it. And we threw the net out. We waited. And we waited. And we waited. And, I have to say, Peter was getting... He turned to the guy and said, See? Nothing. Absolute... He said, Whoa, calm down. Take another look. Start to draw your nets in. Well, we started to pull them. Well, I thought, hang on, it's caught on something. It's caught on the rocks at the bottom of the lake. We better try and free it. No, nothing caught. And we noticed them. Fish. Hundreds and hundreds of fish. Well, I think that changed Peter's mind. Whoa, he said, hang on. Let's get the other... So we shout out. Hey, come on. Come and give us a hand. We can't do this ourselves. So we pulled the nets in. And there was hundreds, absolutely hundreds of fish. All different kinds. Well, some we had never seen before. So we just thought, well, this is good, this. This man must be a miracle maker. So we looked at him and he said, come on, pull them in, boys, pull them in. Well, as far as I was concerned, this was a miracle. Well, Peter, he's not a religious man, but he thought, you could see him thinking. He was thinking really hard and he said, he jumped out of the boat and he, he ran and he said, out on his knees. And he looked up at this man and he said, Lord, Depart from me, I'm an evil man. And this man, he just looked at Peter. He took him by the hand, he, he lifted him up and said, Peter, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Well, what do you mean by that? Fishers of men? Oh, I couldn't, under couldn't quite understand that, but nevertheless, we... We jumped ashore, 
and just after we jumped, I noticed that Peter was now standing talking to this guy. I mean, who is this guy? He appeared from nowhere. I've never seen him in the village before. But anyway, he looked at him and he said, Lord, I'm but a poor man. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You'll be catching men. You'll be bringing them in for the kingdom. Well, I've never seen Peter do anything in the, just a, 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 a flick of well, the moment, you know. He can be impetuous, but not this impetuous. He turned around and said, Simeon, the business is yours. I said, what? He says, I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow this man, and if he says what is right, it could be something really big in this. So I looked at him and he said, all right, Peter, if that's what you want, I'll take on the business. I'll send you the profits. No, no, he says, doesn't matter. I've got a new business now. I'm going to be fishing men. And he did. Hundreds.